Hey everybody, welcome to a uh, Sunday afternoon edition of uh, Peace Beer Reviews. I'm uh, taking a break from uh, football. Um, actually a lot longer break than I thought I was gonna gonna take. I left at halftime, went out to my favorite spot, and uh, I had two problems. As soon as I, I showed up, I was just starting to get ready. And these people showed up, showed up and decided to uh, start doing a photo shoot. Um, professional photographer and all that. One lady said, oh gee, I'm sorry, I guess we're invading your space. And I was so tempted to say, no, nah, you've already invaded it, you're assholes. But I uh, picked up my stuff and left. But I also noticed while I was there that uh, this bottle was uh, covered in wax and I didn't, didn't bring my pocket knife with me to take off the wax, so I had to do that anyway. So I just ended up coming here. But anyway, uh, I know I've been doing a lot of the shoots lately, but they're new to the state, uh, beers I've never had. Um, Beers I've never seen. So today I'm going to do their black, their 25th anniversary reserve Black Butte XXV 25. Um, like I said, never had it before. I did review the uh, Black Butte Porter. It was a pretty solid Porter, nothing outstanding. But um, anyway, uh, from the website it says dates to shoots Black Butte XXV 25th anniversary reserve. Dates, figs, and chocolate. Black currants, barrel aged, and bourbon casks. The result is an imperial porter with a tart berry and chocolate aroma with luscious layers of dried fruit, oak, and vanilla. A fitting tribute to the 25th anniversary of our flagship beer. Um, like I said, it's a porter. It's an imperial porter. 11.3% ABV, 64 IBUs. Um, little additional information. It says malt, beverage brewed with dates, figs, and cocoa nibs with 50% 50, 50 being aged in barrels and 12.5% with black currant added. So just a standard um, standard to shoots cap, at least standard for now. Hopefully I got enough wax off this. I can get this sucker off. Oh yeah, no problem. A lot of smoke. Get this pour. This is 500 mil, 11.3%. So. I'm going to cap this sucker up and uh, finish it at home, but uh, wanted to get out one more day. Pretty nice day today. Um, it's uh, in the 50s, might get close to 60, sunny. It was uh, in the 40, low 40s yesterday, really, really windy. Anyway, I had a lot of football to watch, so I didn't get any reviews done yesterday, but we've got a nice, oh, that's black. Yeah, that's opaque. You can't see a thing through it. Uh, Got a finger, maybe a finger and a half of a uh, slightly oily looking, uh, tan head, uh, khaki colored maybe. Just a really, really beautiful looking porter. So let's get a nose on it. Okay, I'm getting that big roasted malt backbone. Uh, definitely not as roasty as that last beer I had, that's for sure. Um, getting the oak and vanilla from the barrels. Um, little bit of the bourbon um, getting almost like a dark fruit like black raspberry definitely the currants are there I can smell those um, almost may almost uh, smells a, a bit venuous um, anyway we got some healthy doses of some uh, dark chocolate some nice vanilla some uh, bourbon notes with just a light with a whiff of coffee nice smelling porter so let's get a taste Okay, initially yeah, I get get those dark chocolates, um, little uh, little bitterness and tartness. I'm not sure if that's from the from the hops or the roasty notes. Um, 64 IBUs, getting up there a bit. Um, got a little coffee underneath, but um, there's some nice uh, getting definitely getting some nice uh, bourbon notes. Um, those black currants are really coming through. Um, other dark fruits, like I said, raspberry maybe, um, dates, raisins, um, nice t taste and uh, really fairly sweet beer. Um, just a hint of that bitter dark chocolate in there. I think that's where some of that uh, bitterness comes through. And I'm sure there's some hot bitterness there too. Um, it's kind of got a lingering tartness to it. Um, 
brown sugar notes, especially uh, vanilla and oak. Get off of there, B. Vanilla and oak from the from the barrels. Um, uh, not as prominent uh, bourbon as I expected, but um, really, really nice, um, nice tasting uh, beer. Um, those cocoa nibs come through. Um, there's a lot of vanilla and a lot of oak and some bourbon. And a lot of chocolate and some dark fruits. There's a lot going on here. This is a pretty fairly complex, uh, very nice complex beer. It's creamy. It's full-bodied. Um, just got a touch of booziness at, at, at the end, but uh, not too bad for being so young, that's for sure. I only picked up the one. It's uh, $15.99 a bottle. I wanted, to, I wanted to try it before I picked up a second one for sure. Um, nice alcohol warming, uh, but it's a, kind of like a really smooth, velvety, but dry finish. Um, slight burn from the alcohol, but um, overall a decent beer, so let me sit. I will sip on this. I'll seal this bottle up, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been oh, 20 minutes, half an hour, so i just been been uh, savoring this slowly um, it's leaving some nice light lacing down the glass not a lot of heavy glaze lacing not as not as much as I expected from uh, from the initial head it got but um, really leaving some nice lacing uh, overall this is a really nice um, you know out of the box uh, you know fresh out of the box not uh, you know when they say think out of the box, that's not what I'm thinking of. Just out of the box, fresh out of the gates, maybe. Uh, beer, um, it's a bit hot, uh, but it's uh, it's manageable. It's not uh, it's not overly hot. Um, not a, not obtrusive at all. Um, it's got a lot nice, a lot of nice, um, nice uh, dark uh, dark fruit complexity in here. The those currants. Um, they do come through quite a bit um, as it's warmed up somewhat. Um, it has warmed up somewhat in the sun here, unlike uh, what some of these, if I do any more outdoor reviews, these days are gonna be. Um, it's, got, it's got those uh, red wine, vinous characteristics, uh, some nice bourbon notes, the oak and the vanilla are in there. Uh, there's, a, there's a good deal of tartness. I think that's probably from the roasted malts and uh, the hops, uh, it's, it's hard, to, hard to distinguish uh, which is which, but uh, there is a nice little, uh, nice little bit of tartness, uh, slight bitterness there. Um, I might pick up a bottle of this, even at um, $16 a bottle, I might even pick, pick one up of this and uh, stick it back in the cellar for a year or so. Uh, I don't know yet, but... Um, Right out of the right out of the gates like this, it's it's a pretty decent beer. Um, might uh, aging might uh, add just a bit more sweetness to it, which um, which is okay by in my book, but um, it's not it's not a really assertive bitterness, not really assertive uh, hotness from the alcohol, although it's it is noticeable. So I'm going to give the 25th Anniversary Reserve, Black Butte, XXV, 25, from Deschutes. I'm going to give this a good solid uh, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, with some aging, it might be a little higher, but damn good beer. Um, if you see it, grab it quick, because like they said, uh, limited quantities. So, um, 9.5 out of 10. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.